ready for my first ever speed awareness course. I've been on a driver's awareness course about seven years ago. First speed awareness course. So yeah, at least we've got a nice tree to look at. But yeah, this is going to be on from seven. Oh, by the way, good morning. It's vlog day number 14, two weeks in. But yeah. Speed awareness class. Let's get it. Uh, got my vitamin C. Got my coffee. Didn't want to eat straight away because I've only just gone up. So I'm just going to have to eat after that, like half ten, quarter to eleven. I haven't, it's not like I haven't done that before. Sometimes I do that like, by choice anyway, so I'll be fine. Right, so we've been given a 10 minute break on this speed awareness course that I'm doing. So I'm going to try and eat five eggs in that time frame. <laughs> The trick is, if you're in a rush, get a pan. Get a pan lid, sorry. Put it on. And hopefully you haven't mauled to death your pan. So obviously you can see the shape of my pan. I don't know how I've done that. I've dropped it at some point. But yeah, going to put that on there. Have a coffee, blow my nose. Go to the toilet. Speedy. Right, you'll be happy I didn't record that. Car starts again in one minute. Let's get it. Right, so speed awareness course finished. Shout out to Manny at TTC. Uh, you're actually pretty good. I actually got some pretty good insights. One thing I didn't know is if you're in a country road, it's 60 miles per hour speed limit, right? If you're in a country road in the street lights, it's 30 miles per hour. Mad thing. Another thing I learned about, if you're going 31 miles per hour, over like an hour's time frame as opposed to 30 won't make any difference to speed you know how long it takes you to get there same like 33 or 34 it makes hardly any difference but your actual braking distance is like it's massive I can't remember what it was but it basically like you'll still smoke someone you'll still knock some poor fucker down if you're going like 33 as opposed to 30 if the you know what I mean the braking distance does this make sense Basically, yeah, dirt speed. I went 36 and a 30, and I was just not paying attention, being completely honest. So yeah, but, yeah, that was good, that was valuable. I rated it, I actually rated it. Uh, but now, we're on to meal two. We've got 100 grams of, this is rest day by the way. We've got 100 grams of oats, we've got a whole green apple. We've got 60 grams of whey, some cinnamon, and some pink salt. I'm just gonna mix that in. And I'll show you that once it's mixed in. Also, I've forgotten. Well, I haven't just taken. I'm just. I'm just taking my supplements yet today. Um, so I'm just gonna have my creatine and glutamine now. Eat this. Got a call at twelve. My call at eleven cancelled. He's moving to another time. Another day, he says. So yeah, I might be able to get some check-ins done as well, which is good. Let's eat it. So there we have it. Quite a bit watery than normal but it mixes easier and it's still a good consistency. So yeah, that is meal number two. I'm gonna smash this in, get some check-ins done. Sit it in a bit. Right, so we are just nipping out the house with P-Dog. Oh, duh, that's awful. What's wrong? That's my bad angle. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's raw and uncut. Uh, just nipping out before I get on with check-ins. Obviously, I've had the three hour or whatever it was driver's awareness, well, speed awareness course. Ooh. And then Here I've had. Fun. Sweet, babe. Cheers, babe. And then I've. Uh, you know, I do know I told them that uh, they were like, what is your reason for being on this course? And I was like, my girlfriend would distract me. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. That was awful. Yeah, they were like, what's your biggest problem when you're driving? I'm like, yeah, being distracted by other half. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, was everyone laughing at Yeah, they were hating it. Um, but yeah, we've got. Um, I've obviously got all my check ins to do still. Obviously, I've told everyone check ins will be with them this afternoon. But I just need to get the fuck out of the house because I felt like I was just falling asleep in the house. Uh, so I thought I'll get out, get a bit of blue light, get a bit of natural light in my face, wake up, get a coffee, uh, and then get back and then smash the check ins. And you know when I need to have a perk up because I've got jeans on. I don't know why? Don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just makes me feel 
it makes me feel more awake so yeah <laughs> that is the strategy that we're taking today i'll see you at meal three might share the coffee before see you <laughs> Now. Well, focus for you. There we go. <laughs> Pasta in Zipan. Christmas decorations are up. Penny's not playing any games this year. She never really plays games anyway. See this cow? That was my present from Penny, that. I saw it in a coffee shop in Mars and I says, I like that cow. Next thing you know, it's my birthday. Man's got a cow. Right. I like it. Aldi's new special pasta. Look at that bad boy. I think I've already shared it in one of the episodes, but like quite small are the pastas, but they're f fucking delicious. Also, I think I'm going to stop beeping out my swear words. If I feel like I'm doing it excessively in a video and it's in really bad taste, like, I'll bleep it. But you all still know what I'm saying. But I remember it was because someone told me you can't monetize your videos or anything like that if you got loads of swearing in. I should probably stop trying to swear, shouldn't I? But it's just authentically me. One more look at the tree. Epic. Epic. Busted out about four check-ins so far since I got back. Got to pick Florence up from nursery before six o'clock. It's now six minutes past four. Big water going in. I was proper tracking my water earlier, really, like five litres a day. Recently, I've just been habitually drinking water and going off the good old, is my wee clear? No, drink my water. If it is, don't sweat it. That's it really. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking shit. I've got something cool to show you though. So here, I've got my feedback forms that I send out. All my forms are on this, I use type form. Okay, results. It's like the questions that are, in fact, the questions that I get asked, that's sorry, that I ask people. Um, oops, so I ask people what the name is and then I say, okay, how's your nutrition doing out of 10? How's your training? Rate your progress. How's my coaching? Your performance, communication, response times, enjoyment, motivation, discipline. And then I ask, what do you think this could improve about the service? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? And book a call if you want, right? One of the best things I got back from this, and it was absolutely lovely, was this. A genuine guy, let's see if I can zoom that in. A genuine guy who cares about his clients, really enjoying the process so far, trying to think of some constructive feedback, can't think of much, maybe more of a social. So that was one of them. Which one were it now? That was it. Honestly, been really happy with the service, mate. Really enjoyed it. Really rating you. Unlike other coaches, I don't just feel like another number with you and it doesn't just feel like you just need it for the easy money. What a fucking guy. And uh, that shit makes my day. Love it. So we've got meal number four going in. We've got that pasta, chicken, like rocket and cress and all that kind of shit. Then we've got two grams of pink salt, 15 ml of garlic olive oil drizzled on top. Excited. Let's get it. The time is 4.26. I'm going to smash this in, try and bust out the rest of the check-ins, go pick up Florence, and then see where we're at. Let's see in a bit. Right, so, I don't know where we left you last, but we've got some check-ins done. We've got most of them done. Um, but we've got some, what, I think three more to, that have checked in today to finish off. It's ten to eight, this is... All chickens will definitely be done the same day regardless, but I like them done in the morning. It winds me up if I don't get them done in the morning. Obviously, I'll have the speed away so it is what it is, but yeah, frustrating for me. I just need to chill. Picked up Florence from nursery, took up to her mum's. I was going to bath her there and put her in a little playpen and she usually just has a good time. 
and then I was going to do work and check-ins while she was doing that. She wasn't impressed. She wasn't happy, so I had to bring her down, get her to bed, uh, and just do bedtime with her. So now she's in bed. I have to wait out for she stays asleep. I'm going to make myself a cold and flu thing to keep coughing um, really loud. I want to try to keep her in bed, so we have one of these drinks. I don't think it's actually going to cough in a bit. I've got two more meals to get in. It's eight o'clock. I've got my cardio to do. I've got chickens left to do, and I've got messages to respond to. I've responded to all my WhatsApps because my debt, my, my took my uh, sort of like contact hours for clients is until eight pm. Just so I can put a, like a, a time frame on it, and so I'll prioritise them. And then after eight pm, like any Instagram messages that need responding or whatever, I'll respond to them as well. But yeah, we're gonna do that. Need to cook some chicken as well. Get some food in the air fryer. I'm gonna crack on. And I'll probably see it next meal once I've got some shit done. I'm feeling better. Let's see you then. So here we have got meal number four. I might have said last meal, meal number four, but it won't. It was meal number three. I can't remember what I said. But yeah, here we've got 400 grams of white potato, half an avocado, 200 grams of beef mince bit of courgette and I've also put in uh, some beef stock in there as well garlic, pink salt on the chips, chunky chips for a change looks epic doesn't it? gas for this um, it's ten past nine, I've done all my check-ins I'm going to eat this I feel like I need to eat this, do my cardio and then eat my last meal I think and have a shower and obviously tired of kitchen, it's an absolute bomb Made Penny a portion too. But she's uh, tidying up from a wreath workshop. Ooh. Yeah, that's an issue that now. Well, not an issue. That's one of the things like, once we've got a baby now, Penny's now tidying up a wreath workshop like on her own. I feel like, you know, I want to make her feel safe and be there to go help her tidy up. But also, we've got a baby who's ill, asleep upstairs. So, can't really do it. Um, but yeah, that's me proper. <coughs> Devil is still holding this illness. Devil is slowing down recovery by doing more volume in the gym. Don't do that. Don't do what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, going to try and sleep as much as possible tonight. I don't have a super early start today. Tomorrow with work, like a high demand in terms of workload. Um, that was mainly today, yesterday, Monday. But I still do have a lot of shit to do. Because... Yeah, just got a lot of shit to do, just want to be better. Um, but yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm going to try and get a good amount of sleep tonight, not set an alarm one of them nights, because I haven't had one of them in a while, get some good recovery in, and hopefully for pull tomorrow I can send it. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, overall, we're winning. I shall see you at the last minute.